Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Today we're going to have fun with something, Potato Express. I bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond for $5.99, and then I got 20% off with a coupon. I got some potatoes here, and it says it'll cook up to four potatoes in four minutes in the microwave, nice and done and fluffy and all that stuff. Well, we're getting ready to test it out and see if it works. Come on over, let's get started. Well, there you go, the Potato Express. And if you turn it over on the back, it says you can do all kinds of stuff. Broccoli cheddar, chili cheese, sour cream and chive potatoes, marshmallow yams, that sounds pretty good. Mashed potatoes, potato salad, potato skins. It even says in the little booklet inside, because I already peeked, that you can make sweet corn with it by cutting the silk off and sliding them in this little pouch right here and with the uh, husk still on there. Now this comes with a little destruction booklet and some different recipes for some stuff in there, but the, all the instructions and the do nots are on this little bag right here, and it is just full of do nots. Let me read a few of them to you. Do not use in a conventional oven. Do not heat in the microwave for more than four minutes at a time. Do not heat on high. Now that's the only thing that I don't like about the instructions is I can't find out what setting they want you to cook on. Okay, not high. Do I cook it on five, seven, three? It doesn't say. So I'm going to cook it on eight. I went in the kitchen and looked at our microwave and it'll go all the way up to ten and I thought I'll just do it on eight then. But it won't be on high because it says do not heat on high. Do not heat in the microwave without food in it. Do not expose to open flame. Uh, leave the microwave unattended. Do not leave it, I should say. Do not place potato express near hot surface. Do not cook oily and fried foods. Now I got to tell you something. If your microwave has a turntable, it says, make sure that the Potato Express, that's this bag here, can freely rotate all the way around. That way if it goes and stops, it'll scorch or burn inside. And if you don't have a microwave that goes around, it says you're supposed to flip it over halfway through the cooking process. Now it says you can do up to four potatoes. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes. I knew you were going to say that sometime during this recipe, but yes, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Sheila washed these potatoes, and it says you're supposed to leave them damp, and I guess that will create the steam inside that little pouch, and you're not supposed to peel them, and you're not supposed to poke any holes in them. So let's go ahead and load up our little potato express. I left a little water in the bottom of the bowl so I could tumble these and make sure that they had moisture on it. Now it says it'll do up to four potatoes, so we're going to put it through its paces. We're going to put four potatoes in here. I just got some little medium-sized potatoes, Idaho potatoes, that I bought at Kroger's last night. And I'm, like I said, I'm rolling them around in here and just shaking off the excess, because it says to put them in there damp. So I want to make sure that they got enough moisture to create whatever steam you need to do. And then it says you're supposed to put this in your microwave, close the little flap, and it says you're supposed to put it in your microwave flap side down like that. So we're going to put this in the microwave. We do not have a turntable in the one that's in the kitchen. Our microwave just doesn't have one of those rotating plates. So I'm going to cook it for two minutes on number eight power setting. Then I'm going to turn it over and cook it for another two minutes. Then I'm going to bring it back here and see if this Potato Express will do what it says it'll do. See you in four minutes. I got to tell you, four minutes goes by in a hurry, so if this thing will cook those potatoes in four minutes, that's quite remarkable. Now I have left my little hot pads lay on top there for a couple of minutes just to kind of let it settle down in there, and let's see what we will see on these potatoes. See that potato there is still hard. See, that didn't work at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in there, put it back in the microwave, and I'm going to actually turn mine on high and do about another three minutes, one minute at a time. And I'm going to check them in there before I bring it out here and tell you exactly how long it took to cook. See you in a minute. Now i got to tell you what I did. I poured a little bit of water back in there before I took it in the kitchen. And I don't scare. I don't care if it says do not heat on high. I put it on high. Two minutes, turned it over, cooked it another two minutes. Well, actually, I'm not going to take credit for that. Sheila did. And she just brought it back, and boy, the steam is pouring out of here. So maybe that's the key. Maybe they just say kind of like to clear themselves of any liability. Don't cook it on high. But let's check this potato now. Yes, 
much softer. Much, much softer. In fact, it's breaking up. Let me see if I can get it out of there. I think that's going to work now. Now, you may have to do what I did. You might have to cook it for two minutes, then put it on, then flip it over, cook it for another two minutes, and then do it again on high. But look at there. Yeah, look at that. Now, that opens right up. That potato breaks right open. Can you see that, Sheila? Yeah. That works perfect. Now, there's a couple little spots that still have a little toughness to them. Not bad, but most of the potato is very soft. And I got to tell you, I think if you just leave it in the bag after you cook it on high, and it says don't cook it on high, but too bad, then I think if you leave it in the bag like these other three, I'll bet they're getting softer and softer as they sit there. Of course, then you're going to want to put some butter in there. And I'm probably going to title this, you know, like something like the bag or whatever it was called. What was it called? Perfect potato or something. I'm going to probably put it in there and say, and it works, kind of. A little bit of sour cream because it varies between how many potatoes you have in there. Well, you know, they say it varies on the density of the potato, how dense it is and how big it is. But I just went with a medium potato, and maybe a smaller potato will just cook up fine. Larger ones will take longer, obviously. Duh. But I think with a little bit of butter and sour cream and chives, let me try my little spud over here. I think he's going to be pretty good. See, there's still a couple little spots that are tough, and then the rest of it's real, real soft. Mmm. That's a good potato. Mm-hmm. That works. Let's try something. Sheila, hand me another bowl right there, will you, please? The length that we've been talking here, I want to reach back in here. And get one of these potatoes that's further back in the bag and bring him gently out here. Not only has he been further back in the bag, but he's been sitting in there the whole time. Now let's check it out. Not bad. Still some little tough spots though here and there. So I guess I would just say that the one that Sheila's mom made works better than this one. But there you have it. Potato Express, they do work, but you're going to have to maybe do like two minutes, turn it over, do two minutes, let it sit for a couple minutes, do it two and two again, and then maybe a little more. But this one here seemed to be better than that one actually. But there it is. That's my little review. I give it about a seven. I think you got to mess with them a little bit longer to get them done right, but they will cook a potato in your microwave in probably about eight minutes, I think. Well, there you have it, Potato Express. Will it cook four potatoes in four minutes? Nope. Will it cook four potatoes in eight minutes to ten minutes? Probably. It does okay, but it does not do what it says on the package. So if you buy it, just remember you're going to have to stick smaller potatoes in there. Cook it a little longer. Experiment with your microwave. They will cook potatoes but not four potatoes in four minutes. It just doesn't work. Well, we really hope you subscribe to our channel. A little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in just a little bit. When it does, click on it. It'll say subscribe. Next to it's a bell. When you click on that bell, it'll say something like, you know, do you want to be notified from these characters every time they come out with something new? Click yes. We hope you do that. And then hit save. Then you'll get every one of our recipes. We'll put another series of recipes up over here that do work. But is this the best little potato cooker well, if it ain't, it ought to be, I guess. But is the one that Sheila's Ma sewed up and sent to us better? Absolutely. Them girls down in Alabama know how to cook. That's why I got one right behind that camera. And she knows how to smile, too. Great job. Say goodnight, Sheila. Good night, Sheila. We'll see you next time on Cooking with Shotgun Red. And that's our Potato Express. That's the first time we've ever had one that didn't work really good. But it doesn't work really good, but it does work. With all that said, see you next time. Bye-bye.